India has allowed limited exports of essential commodities to the Maldives, even as ties between Maldives and India remain tense. An image has emerged on social media, featuring US and UK soldiers alongside the British defence adviser Paul Hayest in Pakistan-occupied territory. Indian Air Force aircraft conducted operations from the emergency landing facility in the northern sector of the Kashmir Valley as part of the ongoing exercise Gagan Sakti 2024. The DRDO is all set to start fabrication of control surface and wing assemblies for M1 missile of LR SAM program. Hindustan Aeronautics will soon start the flight testing of infrared search and track system developed for Tejas Mark II program. The DRDO is procuring various subsystems for expand ESA seeker, as it is an advanced stage of development. The DRDO is looking for development cum production partner for development integration and testing of mission systems, for C-295 based indigenous multi-mission maritime aircraft and medium-range maritime reconnaissance aircraft. The Indian Army is exploring the option of creating a tailor-made unit, that will function as an adversarial force to carry out realistic war gaming and training. The Indian Army is planning to set up specialized cells of Army Design Bureau at various command headquarters, to boost self-reliance and absorption of niche technologies. Indian Navy has signed a contract with Astra Premier, towards design and development of indigenous aircraft to Balas battery-powered tug for Indian Navy. China has patented a design for a super heavy lift launch vehicle, that is strikingly similar to SpaceX's Starship. The director of the Aeronautical Development Agency has said, that the first flight of Tejas Mark II aircraft is expected to occur sometime between September and October of 2025, and this statement comes after reports of delays in the program's timeline. While challenges and delays are not uncommon in complex engineering projects, this updated timeline provides a clearer picture of when the Tejas Mark II might be ready for initial flight testing. The director of the Aeronautical Development Agency has confirmed the successful completion of the AMCA's critical design review, and that the metal cutting has already begun. The next anticipated milestone will be the release of tenders for AMCA's manufacturing, that will open the door for qualified companies to participate in building this 5.5 generation stealth combat aircraft for the Indian Air Force. The DRDO has officially confirmed the development of a June Mark II tank, that will feature a 1,500 horsepower indigenous engine, and a redesigned turret, which will be 4 tons lighter than the existing version, and this reduction in weight will translate to a more agile tank. The overall weight of the Mark II will come down to 63 tons, compared to the 67 tons of the Mark I-A. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has announced that it is on track to deliver the first of its indigenously built Project 17 Alpha Stealth Guided Missile Frigates by August 2025. The second and third frigates are currently at 55% and 43% stages of completion, with anticipated deliveries in February and August 2026. According to senior Indian officials, Indian Navy will take delivery of the first Russian-made advanced Tulwar-class frigate in September, and the second frigate by early 2025, and the two countries are working around US sanctions, that has created difficulties in paying for Russian weapons systems. Goa Shipyard Limited is also building two more advanced Tulwar-class frigates under transfer of technology from Russia, and they are scheduled to be delivered in 2026 and 2027. Today's top 3 comments. 